December the 27th, Wednesday, I think. I haven't looked at a calendar. <laughs> yes, I think it is December the 27th. Um, I am trying to get my breakfast made and it is 5, uh, 5.42 in the morning. If it sounds like I was about to cry, you were right. Ugh. It's early this morning, especially when you've been off for four days. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you my breakfast here and sort of my plan for the day. And it's dark out, so if I vlog, it'll be in the dark. Um, we'll see how you guys like that. All right, see you in a couple minutes, I think. Okay, everybody, here's breakfast. I didn't really mean to arrange it like this. I think that's pretty funny. It looks like a flour, an egg flour. Um, I have two eggs for zero points. I have two tablespoons of the Kirkland Parmigiano Reggiano for one point. Um, six slices of this uncured Canadian bacon. I, whenever I see that, I always think, oh, is the Canadian bacon still sick? Like it's uncured, it's sick? I don't know, weird. Um, six slices of that is two points. So this plate right here is three points, and then I'm gonna have three tablespoons of the Coffee Mate sugar-free Italian sweet cream. Three tablespoons of this is one point in my tracker. And I'll show you sort of the plan for the day. Um, eggs and cheese, you saw that. This was last night I started planning Starbucks. I don't think I'm getting that today because um, I made a French press coffee. I made a salad for lunch that has steak on it. And I'm gonna have some fish and veggies tonight. We're gonna track our steps. We're gonna try to get lots of water in. Uh, I got a good amount of sleep last night. And yeah, so we're gonna try to really uh, stay on program. So my water, I know, I think it was Lisa told me to drink lemon water. So I'm gonna drink some lemon water and try to get it together here. Um, oh, and these are so pretty. Look, my brother sent me flowers. This is my brother that lives in Hawaii. Um, so Mela Kaliki Maka, right? So anyway, it's so cute. He, he sent me flowers to get here on Christmas day and they didn't get here. So they called the florist and I don't know what happened, but anyway, yesterday we ended up getting two bouquets of flowers. I guess they had sent one. It didn't get here. Then they sent another one and they're really, really pretty, very festive. The other one has pine cones in it. So um, I'll show you that one later. Good morning. So I'm in the car and it's really dark. I'm in the vlog in the dark for a little bit. If you're new to my channel, just so you know, I have weeks where I have to go in really early for work and I don't really know how this started, but I just basically like to talk to myself on the way to work and uh, unfortunately it's in the dark. So, if you're not a fan of this, you can fast forward because I will blab in the light later on. Okay, so here goes the light. Um, and I think my friend Pat in the UK will like this because she likes vlogging in the dark. So, plus you guys can just put me on as like background. Um, I wouldn't say ambient noise because my voice is definitely not ambient, but maybe white noise. Maybe you can fall asleep to my voice because <laughs> I don't know that it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> so today is November the 27th and I started back at Weight Watchers on October the 27th. So I've been doing this for a couple of months um, and am not an expert at all. So please do not take this as expert advice. Okay, I had a dream last night. I'm not making this up. I had a dream last night. It was something about I was in the bank. I was in the bank depositing a check or something. And I got a text message on my new phone. And my new phone kind of looked like a speak and spell. I don't know if you guys remember the speak and spell, but I'm a child of the 80s. And I remember getting a speak and spell for Christmas. And it was like the best thing ever. 
basically it would tell you a word to spell and you would spell it and you could kind of play games on it and stuff. I mean, it was extremely um, elementary. <laughs> so I got a text message on my speak and spell that Oprah Winfrey wanted me to come and have tacos with her. So I feel like Oprah, if you're trying to get a hold of me in real life, that's not the way to do it because that speak and spell is long gone. But anyway, I really think I, I dreamt about that because I saw a commercial with her. Maybe you guys have seen it on YouTube where she's standing around yelling about, let's eat tacos, you know, to, to everyone in the room. And there's like a whole bunch of, I don't know, are those people that have lost weight or, I mean, they don't look like they're, you know, at the beginning stage of trying to lose weight. Are they lifetimers? Like what's happening? Um, and I really feel like they're all very attractive and that's great. And they have their hair and makeup done, but I would like to see Oprah without her eyelashes you know, with like someone like me in the morning with my hair all nutty, you know, eating, I don't know, whatever we can rummage out of the fridge. I want to see, I want to see real life, <laughs> real life Weight Watchers, um, you know, kind of like in your grubby jammies or, you know, your workout clothes and you've got like maybe a stain on the front and Oprah does too. Like that's what I want to see is like chill with Oprah, like real life Weight Watchers. Um, that's a commercial that I would click on the link, even though I'm already a subscriber to Weight Watchers. I would be like, yes, that is me. There, there you go, Oprah. I gave you an idea for a commercial. Um, so I had that dream. I slept pretty well. I was kind of in and out all night because I think I was anticipating the fact that I had to get up early this morning. And I'm always, even though I have my alarm set on my clock, on my on my phone, I'm always like worried that it's not gonna go off or something. So, um, I got a good jump start on the day. I've got my coffee with me, and um, let's see. Uh, let me think of a couple of comments that I haven't actually responded to yet. Um, someone corrected me on the stubs, sugar-free, four tablespoons of that is one point, not zero points. Um, I I had four tablespoons spread across three chicken breasts and I ate one chicken breast. So I counted it as zero points for myself. But anyway, if you're planning on having four tablespoons, you need to count one point for it. So thank you, whoever told me that. I can't remember off the top of my head. So, oh, someone asked me what denomination I am. We're not, de we don't, we're not in a denomination where uh, Eastern Orthodox Christian, okay, so we're Eastern Christians, um, and we don't have denominations in that, I don't know if that makes sense, but you can uh, Wikipedia that, but um, the Western Church, the Western Protestant Church has denominations, and that's what I grew up in, I'm an Eastern Orthodox Christian now, I uh, converted when I was 20. Anyway, what was I going to say about that? Oh, good Lord, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I think somebody was asking me what denomination I am. Oh, and it okay, so back to my big fat Greek wedding. They're Eastern Orthodox Christians. They're Greek Orthodox. I'm American Orthodox. Okay, so those are more like jurisdictions. So um, different areas of the world have different, you know, obviously. You have Russian Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, Coptic Orthodox, you have Antio Antiochian Orthodox. Um, so I'm American Orthodox, but in my big fat Greek wedding, she talks about her hormones. <laughs> and it just makes me laugh so hard. So anyway, my hormones are acting up. For that time, for that cycle, you know. So I'm trying not to take a lot of Tylenol or ibuprofen because those insects make you retain water. And I have weigh-in in two days and I don't think I need any help in that area. I don't need to be any heavier than I am. I am not stuck on the scale and I am not getting on the scale until I weigh in Saturday morning because it is going to mess me up if I see a gain. 
especially since I just got my 5%. So, um, I really appreciate your questions and your comments, and you can ask me anything. I will, if I feel like I'm not, you know, comfortable answering, I won't. Um, I try not to go into some things that are too off topic from weight loss because that's not what my channel is about. My channel really is about Weight Watchers and me trying to get this weight off. So, but as an aside, you are seeing my life and Weight Watchers is part of my life and I plan on it being part of my life long term. So when I show you sort of my daily life, you're just going to see kind of what I do and we do a lot of we do a lot of family stuff, we do a lot of church stuff, I do a lot of work stuff. I mean, that's just... <sighs> yeah, you get it. Okay, I'm going to go get off of the camera and listen to some music on my way into work. And I will see you guys later. It's lunchtime. So I have a steak salad here. I made myself a really big salad. It has six ounces of steak on it for six points, um, two hard boiled eggs for zero, a tablespoon of bacon bits for zero. Um, it has my Skinny Girl Honey Dijon dressing on it for zero points. Um, oh, and my cheese for one point. So seven point salad and I'm having a big water. Um, I do have some fat free yogurt in here that I'm gonna eat later on uh, with some stevia and I had some grapes a little while ago um, to kind of tide me over. But this will be my afternoon snack because I think that this is gonna fill me up really well. So I will see you guys later. I'm not doing so great on my steps. I'm only at 41.82 and it's 11.30. Um, I really want to get 10,000 today, so we'll, we will see. I've been walking circles and doing stairs and all kinds of crazy stuff to try to get there. Hey everybody, I'm headed home from work. We got off work early today and I had a great day. Um, I'm right around 8,000, a little over 8,000 steps for the day. I've had almost three big waters with lemon and juice in them. So I've been in the bathroom all day. Um, yeah, and I had that really yummy salad for lunch and then I had my yogurt and I am really hungry. So Judah called and said he wants to make chili for tonight. Um, I told him if he was gonna get ground beef to make sure he gets the 93 uh, seven lean ground beef which is four points for three ounces. Um, so I think he was going to go do that. And then, you know, he just says beans and onions and garlic and all that stuff. So that's all zero points. Um, and I think I have 15 left for the day. Something like that. Um, and that would be red meat twice in a row. You know, I, I haven't had red meat since uh, winter Lent started. So... That's kind of cool. Get my iron level up, which would be nice. Um, someone mentioned me being, I think Mary was saying maybe I was low on protein, and you're probably right. I, she was saying maybe I was low on protein on the nights that I was going to my meetings and was feeling really droopy uh, back when I was weighing in on Mondays, and I think she was right. I think um, maybe my, I don't know, maybe not, but maybe not having as much iron my diet was affecting me. I don't know. Who knows? Um, let's see. So, non-scale victory for today was I was able to zip this jacket up. This is a jacket I got in, at the beginning of October before I started Weight Watchers and it would not zip. So that was a cool non-scale victory for me. Um, it just zipped right up. No issues. Didn't have to stretch it. Nothing like that. So I was really excited about that. And then um, I've been thinking a lot about my goals for uh, January and then beyond into all of 2018, which can be a little bit overwhelming, so I think I'll share those with you. Um, maybe we'll do like a New Year's Day video and talk about goals and what we see for the, the new year, what we see for ourselves. 
Um, so you guys think about that and maybe we can sort of commit to that on January 1st here and or commit to trying to do those things and then it will be really cool in a year to look back and see what we were able to accomplish because I think anything is possible we just have to really work for it um, and it will really be helpful I think to be accountable to each other and um, you know just have a place to kind of say this is where I put it I, I put it out there on the internet something about putting all this out there on the internet makes it more concrete for sure it's not just rattling around in your head so. Um, anyway, a couple other comments. Let me think. A lot of you guys, we've been talking back and forth about sort of our struggles the last few days and um, how we've identified issues and kind of dealt with them and what we can do better next time and what we can do better now. Like, tracking seems to be the big thing that we all need to be tracking. Um, and I think Noelle on my video from yesterday had an interesting point. She said that she was hiding like some eating that she was doing, which we've all, we've all done that, I'm thinking, where you put something in your mouth and you hope no one saw you do it. And she said her husband made the comment that she was really hiding the eating from herself. And I don't know, is he a psychiatrist or a psychologist or something? I thought that that was very, like, introspective and deep. And... Because that's so true. It's like a shame thing. It's not, it's not even really about anybody else. It's about ourselves. And, like, it's that whole, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Or, you know, um, if no one saw me eat it, then it didn't happen, right? I don't have to count it. I don't have to track it. Whatever. So, I think that was a really valuable comment, and I never really thought of that before. Um, so, I don't know. There's just a lot, there's a lot there for me to contemplate. So, I'll, you know, as I start to think about that, because, I mean, I think for being on YouTube, too, there is an element of that where... You know, I will think, oh, I'm not going to vlog this. They don't need to see that. And then I realized, like, I did, I did that on Christmas night. I didn't vlog any of my food. And I was, I was kind of excited that I didn't have to show you guys because you, I don't know, it was weird. It was kind of like eating in secret, but not really. Um, and I did track all of it. But I didn't want to have to show you guys that I was eating that. So, I mean, definitely there's accountability here. With It's, it's got to be a lot like Overeaters Anonymous where I'm being very transparent and showing you all what I'm eating. And you guys, in turn, are giving me feedback like, oh, Amy, the points weren't right on that. Or, um, oh, you know, why'd you do that? Or, you know, you'll ask me questions and just kind of give me feedback. Or, oh, good job on that. Or, or maybe you can do this next time or whatever. Um, this is a very strange way <laughs> and probably not a normal way of doing things, you know, for the majority of people trying to change the way they eat for life. And so, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like pretty out there and kind of vulnerable and there is that temptation, you know, to, to make it look perfect and, you know, it's not perfect. So anyone out there that's vlogging and you think that, they, that they're doing it perfect, you know, they're doing Weight Watchers perfectly or they're eating perfectly or they're exercising perfectly, I mean, it's just not reality, you know. So anyone can manipulate the camera. I'm just really talking more about myself, not anyone that's out there, but... I think a lot of times you can compare your own journey to what you're seeing, like on YouTube or on Instagram or on Connect, and you're just seeing a small snippet, you know, like you guys don't see me when I'm so tempted, like this afternoon, I was really hungry and I should have brought, I meant to bring another apple today, and because um, I knew I would be hungry this afternoon, I didn't bring it, and so I was sitting there thinking of all the things that I could eat that are available 
that wouldn't completely throw me off track and just all that temptation. I mean, you guys aren't, I can't show you all that. I can talk about it, but anyway, you're just seeing snippets and it's like watching, <laughs> you watch some of these recipe videos and the recipe looks so good and then you make it at home and it's gross. And it looks so good on, on YouTube or on TV or on the Food Channel, you know. So, anyway, that's not my goal. I'm trying to be really honest and transparent. It does not help me for me not to, to be honest with you guys and, and for me to show you, like, a perfect picture of Weight Watchers. In my opinion, this is a messy journey. <laughs> it's not all neat and perfect and beautiful and I mean there are just moments where you're like this stinks you know and I don't know and there are moments where it's just great and you just feel so like energized by, by the good decisions that you make you know like one day you'll just have a great day on Weight Watchers and be like oh man I totally got this this is such a good day so there's that so like a yin yang thing um progress, not perfection, right? Right. So that was a great comment. Thanks, Noelle, for sharing that. Um, I think there's a lot there to, to think about. You know, if you guys are reading the comments, I mean, people are really sharing a lot of very, like, introspective, cool things in my comments. So, if you have a chance to check some of those out, um, I've just got some great people that are, you know, following and then also talking about their own journeys. I mean, I, I think I have some pretty amazing subscribers that have, you know, that are on Lifetime, that are actively losing weight, that are really thinking about what they're doing, and I'm just learning a lot from you guys. I really appreciate it. And I think it was uh, Lisa. This morning, I think I said it was Vicky, but I think it was Lisa who said something about me drinking lemon water. Anyway, I don't mean to get you guys confused, but... brain, apparently. Um, <laughs> ah. So, let me think if there are, there are lots of good comments. I mean, I'm just sitting here going through like tons of, of different ones that, you know, were great. Um, I don't think I had any real questions that anyone asked about anything. I did see on a couple other channels that people were buying the Stubbs sugar-free uh, barbecue sauce. And the consensus is that it's really good. So remember, three tablespoons is zero, one tablespoon, or I'm sorry, three tablespoons is zero of the Stubbs sugar-free. Four tablespoons is one point. So just remember that because I messed that up the other day. So I'm gonna go home and try to eat some chili and figure out what I should count for it. Okay, everybody. So I made 12 cups of this chili. It has two pounds of the 90, 97.3. 93.7. 93.7 ground beef, beans, tomatoes, and seasoning. Um, so I put it in my tracker. And it came out to 42 points for all of the ground beef because it was the extra lean. And I divided that by 12 and it ended up being three and a half points per cup because there was 12 cups in there. So this is actually my second serving. So I'm counting seven points for the chili. And then this is the fit and active reduced fat sharp cheddar. So that's three points. I put an uh, eighth of a cup on one bowl of it and an eighth of a cup on the other for my fourth of a cup. And then I'm serving it on cauliflower rice. I don't know if you guys can see for zero points. I'm having a Zevia. And my family is <laughs> trying to deal with me. <laughs> Vlogging. Vlogging our meal. We're in Target. Doing a little grocery run and uh good times. Ram fun? Yeah. Yeah, woo. 
7 o'clock at Target. Okay, I really want peas. I haven't had peas in forever. And they're zero points now, so I am buying some peas. Favorite Halo top. Delicious. We are in Target, doing a little grocery haul because I'm out of necessities um, after the weekend of craziness. So um, while I like the French press coffee that I've been making, unfortunately it takes too much time in the morning. So I'm going to get some of these and then I'm also getting my cold brew. So let's show you. Cold brew. Yum. Also going to try out the Oikos 0% yogurt. I scanned it at zero points. Grapes. What else? Lettuce. You know. Why are you carrying that around? Relax. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. That's what we're doing with our Wednesday night. Normally we would be in church. So, uh, can we pick up a couple things and then go home? So, do you guys eat the Kodiak cake stuff? And if so, which one do you eat and what do you do with it? I saw, actually this has 14 grams of protein. I saw, um, gosh, who was it? Amanda? And she vlogged a waffle recipe that looked amazing. So I might get some of this. Let me scan it and see. Have you guys seen this book? This is the Whole30 Day by Day. Uh, it's like a 30 day guide. For the Whole30. That's pretty cool. I'm not doing that right now. But if I were, I would buy that. I'm leaving Target and going home. That's the vlog for today. Thanks for watching and hope you had a great day. Hope you were back on track after the holidays if you were like me. and. Kind of had a splurgy day there. Um, I just hit my 10,000 steps for the day. Actually, right now, you can see my Fitbit is giving me a little firework show for that. So, glad we went to Target and walked around a little bit. And I'll be back tomorrow. We'll see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a food vlog or something else, but. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for subscribing and all your great comments and really appreciate ya. Um, say hi in the comments below and like and subscribe if you want to. Good night.